another Photoshop tutorial from tutorvid.com. This tutorial is going to show you how to make a custom brush out of a smoke texture. So this is a smoke texture picture I took and I took it against black which most smoke pictures will be and when creating a brush everything that's pure white is not going to be part of the brush and everything that's a color will be part of the brush. So in this case I'm going to flip the colors with control I and that'll inverse the black and white and all the colors so we now have black smoke and a white background. And depending on the image you're using or the texture, you should zoom into 100% and make sure you don't have any stray black pixels that you don't want part of your brush. This smoke is pretty clean. Uh, there might be a little bit of black or a little bit of a shade over here. So, so what I'm going to do is create a curves layer and I'm going to whiten up the whites. If you don't know how curves work, check out a tutorial for those. And I might darken up the blacks a little bit too just to give it a little more contrast. And one other hint is brushes can only be made from images that are two and a half thousand pixels on the longest side. So for this one, for example, you'll see the define brush preset, which is what we're going to use is grayed out. So you have to go up to image, image size, and then size it down to two and a half thousand pixels. And then when we go to image define brush preset, that's all you have to do to make the brush. And we'll call this tall smoke. And now the brush, since the background is white, the brush took only everything that is not white, so which is the black and the gray areas here. Now I'm going to create a new image to test out my brush, and I'll make it 2000 pixels square. And I'm going to want uh, black for my background, so alt backspace to fill with the foreground color. And to find a brush, you can just press the B for brush, and then it'll be the last one on this list of brushes here. And you can resize this brush like any other brush and paint the color that is in the foreground. So painting white, you just click and it'll brush your smoke texture. If I do a smaller size, it'll just put it in there. And just trying a different color. If you want to make some blue smoke, and I'll make a big one like so. And that's all there is to it. If you want to check out more tutorials, head over to tutorvid.com. You can also find the HD download of this tutorial as well as the source file.